G'day guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ali. So I'm currently full-time mum at home with a four and a half month old princess named Sophie. So today I wanted to show you a sensory activity that we've been using that Sophie's really enjoying. It's a sensory book. So we use this book when she's sitting in the chair, when she's doing tummy time. If we go out, we can take it out. Um, but we can also take the pages apart and just use it on the floor for tummy time. She really enjoys it. Her favorite page is definitely the one with the pom-poms on it. Alrighty guys, I hope your little one enjoys it just as much as what mine does. Let's get cracking. Supplies you'll need cardstock. I'm using A4 size 185 grams, a hole punch and scissors and your sensory items. So I've got pom-poms, balloons, feathers, corrugated cardstock, bubble wrap, wool paper, glitter paper, and some crocheted hearts and flowers and a variety of adhesives, double-sided sticky tape, hot glue gun and duct tape, depending on what material needs to stick to the cardstock. And finally, some hinged rings to help turn it into a book. Firstly, I folded the A4 cardstock in half because I wanted this book pages to be really strong as Sophie doesn't know the word for gentle yet, so it needs to be strong enough for a baby to throw about. Then I hole punched a hole into it and then to stick it together, I used double-sided sticky tape. And that's the basic page complete. I repeated that same step 10 times because I wanted 10 pages in my book. For this first page, I used double-sided sticky tape to stick the bubble wrap to the page. Now I made sure with the bubble wrap that the most bubbly side was on the top for Sophie to feel. And then I used some wool paper, which I got from a cheapo shop. Next, I hot glued on a doily. Next I used some bright corrugated paper for Sophie to run her fingernails along. This page I used a variety of crocheted hearts and flowers as well as a tassel for Sophie to grab onto with her hands. This page I used some balloons in different colours. This page is by far Sophie's favourite page and she grabs onto the pom-poms with her hands. This page I used feathers going in different directions. Then some glitter paper which is great auditory as well as tactile sensation. And finally, the last page, some fabric. And then I threaded the pages onto the hinged rings to create a book. This book is great to take out with you. I just popped it inside a plastic bag, but you can also use it at home when she's sitting on your lap, as well as when she's doing tummy time. So guys, I'd really love it if you'd share in the comments what you're gonna put on your pages. Give some mums some other ideas of things that they can do for their little one. All right, until next time, bye.